You're listening to Women Sipping on Life with Dr. Shannon. If you're thirsty for inspiration, hope, certainty, abundance, movement, purpose, health, and love, then it's time to stop drowning in your life and start sipping on it. You've made the right decision to tune in because we got nothing but smooth sailing from here. Well, hello, dear soul. Welcome back to the program. This is Dr. Shannon, founder of womenssippingonlife.com and author of the best-selling 12 Engagements of Becoming the Great Lover of Your Life, Date Yourself Well. And welcome back. Today, we're talking about this, Marry Your Life, Part 2. That's right. We did Marry Your Life, Part 1 yesterday. I didn't know it was going to be Part 1 of a two-part series, but after doing yesterday, I thought, you know what? I want to circle back today to complete the circle, and to totally put a ring on it. That's right, totally put a ring on it, and perhaps four rings, and this is why. Because, oh my goodness, I wake up this morning to a notification on Facebook from a friend of mine that has tagged me in a post that he did on a radio show where apparently this woman was talking about the fact that she married herself. And he commented on the post and tagged me in it, saying, hey, you know what? It's my friend, Dr. Shannon Galbertson, who wrote the book, Date Yourself Well. And so I thought it was so sweet that he gave me a shout out. But it also got me thinking. I'm like, you know what? This is now starting to catch on. People are starting to realize that the old saying that in order to love others, we have to love ourselves. And let me tell you, that's not only an old saying. It's like the word of God. And it goes way back love others as we love ourselves. It's a commandment. But you know what? The problem is, is that most people aren't loving themselves well. So how we're loving others isn't so well either. So we're really starting to see the effects of that. That's why divorce rates are higher than ever. People are so unhappy in a relationship, out of a relationship, trying so hard to get into a relationship only to get in a relationship and all of a sudden the glass slipper breaks and now I want out of the relationship and all this drama and really all this trauma, emotional, heart trauma. So it's time to circle back and go, yeah, love others as we love ourselves, but let's not forget, we must love ourselves and love ourselves well and truly commit to a lifelong love affair with our lives which starts with this, you loving yourself by dating yourself. Because in order to love you, you must know you. And in order to know you, you must spend time with yourself and get to know yourself each and every day. I call this not only dating yourself, but dating your day, dating your life, so you can fall in love with your life. Yeah, marry your life. Now, marrying your life is no joke. Now, I'm not kidding when I say that. Like, marrying your life is no joke. Seriously, it's not for the weak at heart. It's for the warriors, the women, the men who fiercely love and live. Because it's going to cost you your life. Really, I'm going to say that again. It's going to cost you your life. It's a true investment in you and your life through and through an investment that is going to cost you everything. Yeah, I'm talking everything. Because no different than when we get married. We think, oh, this is great. It's the honeymoon. Everything's going along great. You have your Prince Charming, and hopefully you're wearing those glass stilettos well as the princess, the queen of your love story. But then all of a sudden, guess what? That four-letter word, life, shows up. And unless we have an incredible relationship with L-I-F-E, let me tell you, we're going to misunderstand life a lot. And we're going to end up missing out on a whole lot of life because we're not going to know what to do when we get knocked off our horse and all of a sudden we're laying there. The glass slipper's broken. We feel like we're broken. Our heart feels broken. And we're like, now what? Well, let me tell you, my dear, I'll tell you now what. What now? It's about loving and living your life even when you get knocked off your horse, even when you're down and out, 
even when it hurts to love, even when it hurts to stand up and keep moving ahead, even when it seems like life is against you, guess what? You have to believe the best about your life. You have to believe the best about yourself and realize that, you know what? Your life is for you. Like I said in yesterday's podcast, your life is for you and for you, specifically for you. So even when it feels like life is against you, I'm telling you, if you stay the course in loving your life and staying committed to your life, you'll find out that it's not against you. Everything that's happening in your life is for you and it's happening through you because you become the happening in your life. So here are some significant distinctions of what it truly means to marry your life. Because did you know that you have a double life? Yeah, you have an inside life and you have an outside one. Or as I like to say, an inside out life. But you not only have a double life, you have a double double life. And I like to call it the 4D life. Yeah, the four dimensional life. And these are the four dimensions of your life. Number one, the life inside you. Yeah, it's what keeps you alive. From the moment that two cells came together and all of a sudden, here you are. It's life, the life inside you. It keeps you alive. Number two, the life that is you. It's you being alive. You being alive. So you have the life in you and then you being alive. And then number three, the life you're living. It's you fully living your life and your life's work. Now think about that. It's you going through life, fully living your life and your life's work. And then number four, it's the life you're in. It's life here on planet Earth and the significant contribution you make to it. Yeah, you can think of it as the life you were born into. So if you look at these four dimensions, it keeps you alive. So you think about this. It's your life. And then it's yourself, your body. It's you. It's your life and life's work. And it's your life. It's your lifetime. The time you're here on planet Earth and beyond. This time in history, or in quotes, her story. Yeah, your story. In this time of history and the life that will continue long after you physically leave this life. I mean, have you ever thought about this? Yeah, I know, it kind of gets deep. Deep and wide and very tall, very large, very expanded, very beyond you and I. Yeah, this life thing I'm talking about goes way beyond you and I, all the way to the one who gave us life, who created life, who is life, who is love. The question is, are you willing today to start seeing your life with a four-dimensional perspective? And most importantly, begin to live it. Live all four dimensions of your life, the life in you, the life that is you, the life you're living, and the life you're in. That's powerful. So when I talk about marrying your life, yeah, it goes beyond one ring. It goes to two rings, three rings, four rings, till death do we depart and beyond. It is deep and it's divine. And today's the day to start thinking about this. And not only thinking about it, but really taking it all in and really living it all out. Fully engaged, fully committed, fully all in to your life, marrying your life because you love your life. And why? Because you love yourself. And why? Because you've gotten to know yourself. Why? Because you started dating yourself. You started taking some of this time that you've been given here on planet Earth, getting to know you, getting to know what you love and what you like and what you don't like getting to know who you truly are from the inside out, getting to know your life and what you desire in your life, beginning to pursue your life with your whole heart and soul because you first committed to you and pursuing you with all of you, all day, every day. Are you hearing what I'm saying? It all begins here, becoming conscious, 
becoming aware of the life that you are, my dear. You, being fully you, fully engaged, fully expressed, ever evolving in this incredible journey, this soul date, this journey of healing, your soul, heart and soul, so you can love you, your life, and your life's work well, very well. So please grab your Sacred Soul Date Journal, your daily action to engage yourself, and today's Sacred Soul Step is this. Answer this question. Are you ready to commit to yourself on all of these levels, all four of these dimensions, and truly marry you and your life? Answer this for yourself today, and then make a declaration of commitment to your health, to yourself, to your life, to your life's work, and to your life as a whole, all dimensions. And then, how is your life contributing to your life as a whole, creating your happy ever after, until death do you depart and beyond? And I would add this, not only until death do you depart, but until life as you live it, right here and now, for the rest of your life. So I would love to give you a free copy of my Date Yourself Well best-selling 12 engagements of becoming the great lover of your life. And all you're going to pay for is shipping. I'll pay for the book. You pay for the shipping. I'll send it to you. All you need to do is go to dateyourselfwell.com, order your book today. I will send it out as a gift. Again, all you'll pay for is shipping. I want to get this ultimate engagement plan into your hands, into your head, into your heart, into your heart and soul, so you can begin falling in love with you and your life for the rest of your life. And I'll look forward to seeing you and sipping on life with you again tomorrow. Thank you so much for being here. This is Dr. Shannon, inspiring minds that want to know and hearts that want to grow so you can love you, your life, and your life's work well, one sip at a time. Thanks for listening to Women Sipping on Life with Dr. Shannon. Please tune in again tomorrow for another sip of life and invite your best girlfriends to join in. We'd love it if you give us a rating and review in iTunes and subscribe. For more inspiration and life-giving content for souls like you, Go to womensippingonlife.com today.